Hello, my name's Brother Glenn Warrington. You see me on the Warrington's Ridge Report, but you know, I'm also a minister of the gospel. I've been given a little more time by YouTube on my videos, and I've been feeling led to do this for a while, and tonight I come under the church, and the Lord just put it in my heart. He says, Glenn, why don't you go ahead and, and, and share that message that you had last week. I remember I got excited when I was preparing that message, and it was a very uplifting message to me and my congregation. I, I could just feel it in them after the message was over. God gave us a great message that day. And that message came from Daniel chapter 3. You know, you've heard the story of Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego and, and the fiery furnace. It's in Daniel chapter 3. And in Daniel chapter 3, we see that King Nebuchadnezzar had built this great statue, this image of gold. It was over 90 feet tall and, and 6 feet wide. And he called all the elected officials or the officials of the land together and, and he told them, he says, you know, when, I, when we sound the music and the psalteries and the harps and the, the flutes and all these things, everybody has to bow down to this golden image. And if you do not, and the decree was that if you do not bow down to this golden image, immediately you was going to be cast in to a fiery furnace. Now, we've been doing a series of messages in Daniel chapter 3, and my church members know Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. And, and, they, and these young men uh, were escalated to higher government positions there. And, but you know what? Some of the buddies in the office saw them, and you know, they did not bow down when everything went on at the appointed time. They didn't bow down. And the people went and told them, hey, you know, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, King, they didn't bow down to your image. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know. And, oh man, that made the king angry. He set up the law. And his people had broke his law. The law was, if you didn't do it immediately, you'd be cast in the fire furnace. But King Nebuchadnezzar came to him. He liked him. You know, laws are made to be broken, so he comes in breaking his own law. That's what men's laws are good for. We'll, we'll make them and then we'll make loopholes for them. And then when something goes wrong, what we got to do? Make more laws, you know? Laws fix everything, don't they? You know? Well, in any case, he came to these young men. He says, look, I'm a reasonable man. If you'll just, we're going to give you another chance. We're going to go through this whole ceremony just for you three. And if you'll bow down at that time, we're going to spare you from the fiery furnace. Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego told us, says, King, you know, we're not going to beat around the bush. Uh, we respect you, you, you know, and uh, we understand God made you who you are and all these things, but, um, and I'm paraphrasing this, okay? You go back and read the whole chapter, word for word, for exactly what it says there. And in any case, it says, King, we're, we're not going to bow down to your, to, your, to your statue. We will only bow down to the Lord our God. King Nebuchadnezzar, was infuriated. The Bible says that even his his appearance changed. And he commanded them to fire that fire furnace up seven times hotter than normal. They got it so hot that when they went to throw these three young men into that fiery furnace, the people who were casting them in were killed from the heat, from the flames. I've been in the fire service, brothers and sisters, for over 20 years. And I've seen people on their worst days. I've seen what fire can do to people. I've seen what it can do to homes. And, and it's just a terrible thing. Uh, we, we make the statement in the fire service, we see people a lot of times on the, on the worst day of their life. And what that means is it was their last day of their life. People planning things and, and vacations, weddings. You know, people going to wedding receptions or coming from wedding receptions. People on their honeymoon. Uh, people coming from homecoming dances killed and or, or burned alive you know in different situations we can't control the outcomes of this world but we all have what we assume is our worst day of our lives let me tell you these three young men were having the worst day of their life let me tell you something. i'm going to share something with you in the book of romans chapter 8 and verse 38 it says for i am persuaded that neither Death, nor life, nor angels, nor principalities, nor powers, nor things present, nor things to come, nor height, nor depth, nor any other creature shall be able to separate us from the love of God which is in Christ Jesus our Lord. I'm going to tell you, whatever you're going through today, God still loves you. You may feel the whole world is against you. They are. If you're a child of God, the world is against you. Maybe you haven't really met the Lord Jesus Christ. Maybe you don't have that relationship with the Lord. God still loves you. 
And He's longing to have that relationship with you. That can only come by faith in the Lord Jesus Christ. God sent His only begotten Son into the world not to condemn the world because the world's already condemned. If you don't know Jesus Christ, you're condemned because of your sins. But that the world through Him might be saved. Jesus died on the cross, shed His blood for our sins and unrighteousness. He died and was buried. And if you notice, He's not on the cross anymore. Jesus rose from the dead on the third day. And because He's alive, we serve a risen Savior that we can go to. And you know what? We can fill Him in our midst if we put our trust and our faith in the Lord Jesus Christ. Jesus said, "Well, two or three or more are gathered in My name, there am I in their midst. These three young men were faithful to God. And they said, you know, God is able to deliver us. We don't know what He's going to do. If you choose to throw us in His fiery furnace, He can deliver us. Now, we don't know. He may take us home to be with Him today. Hallelujah. But you know what? He may deliver us from this. We don't know, but I'm going to tell you what. I'm sorry, King. We can't bow down to your statue. They threw Him in there. And then all of a sudden, Nebuchadnezzar walked up. And he said, look, folks. I see. Did we throw three people in there? Well, I see four. And the fourth one is the image of the Son of God. Brothers and sisters, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego were having the worst day of their life. And you know what? They didn't lay down. They didn't lay down on a pew and whine and moan because things wasn't going their way. These three men went in there and started having church. And Jesus was in the midst of them. Brothers and sisters, whatever you're going through, whatever problems or troubles you're going through, trust in Jesus Christ. Jesus will be in the midst. Let me tell you, this is a, a, a terrible time in our nation. I'm going to tell you why. Because it's so politically charged. I'm not saying it's a terrible time because who's president. I'm not saying it's a terrible time because who our politicians are. I'm saying it's a terrible time because people hate each other. People just don't like each other anymore in this nation. You know what? As Christians, God has to remind me all this time. You know, don't be mad. Be glad because you serve Christ. And He says, if you trust in me and your heart is right, I'll be right there in your midst. Let me tell you, can people see you, see Jesus in your midst? King Nebuchadnezzar and all those people that hated these three young men, the people responsible for killing them, saw Jesus in their midst. Does Jesus, do people see Jesus in your midst? I ask you that. And if not, pray to God that He will lift you up today. Regardless of what it is, He loves you. No matter how bad it is, God loves you today. Put your trust in Jesus Christ. Lord, lift up whoever seeing this video. Guide them. If they do not know Jesus Christ, I pray you'll humble their hearts that they'll come and make a decision to come to know Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior. Lord, whatever they're going through and dealing with in their lives, Lord, we just ask you to touch their lives, touch their problems, and just lift them up out of the fiery furnaces of this world. Shower them with your blood, Lord. Cleanse those sins, Lord, and make them whole again. Lord, we know that you love us all and we thank you. And we ask all these things in the name of Christ Jesus our Lord. Amen. God bless you. If you have a need or trouble, you can contact me on Facebook or you can go to Warrington's Ridge at yahoo.com. That's my email address and, and contact me. And I'll be glad to pray for you and lift you up. God bless you, cuz.